Hi guys, I don't, I, I feel like I have to do this because there's an awful lot going on in areas where I have subscribers and, well, I just want to make sure that you know, wow, man, did they blow this thing up and I'm going to show you all of the frequencies that are taking place. Uh, I mean, they're using even more radar, uh, Doppler radar stations with these harp neck thread rings and I was looking at it and I thought, okay, tornadoes uh, and flooding. So I'm just going to go over some information as quickly as I can. Uh, any of you guys in this area, if you don't know, I'm sure, look, I'm sure everybody is just on it, but I just feel like I've got to post this. Langston, Oklahoma. El Dorado, Kansas. Canton, Illinois. Flash flood from May 25th to May 26th. Um, this was posted 13 minutes ago, and I only did a search for the past hour. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, tornadoes. Here, live reports. Tornado damage reported in El Reno, Oklahoma. There was a tornado in Texas. Uh, twin tornado warning for Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. And I, I just so really... You know, there are subscribers that I've not heard from, and uh, it's hard. You know, you're far away, this cyber relationship that we have, it's hard. Um, emergency shelters open in Conway. So I will link below to everything, and there's two emergency shelters. Look, I'm posting this because they're now saying get out of so many areas. Arkansas, Missouri, uh, yeah, Oklahoma. Uh, two emergency shelters open. Um, and you can bring your pets. <laughs> so, uh, here. Um, Miami, Miami, Oklahoma. And I, I'm going to show you some videos that a subscriber posted. She lives in this area. The city of Miami continues to deal with high flood levels. Block travel routes are among many issues locals are faced with. Local resident Misty Bryan lives in Commerce but works in a daycare in Miami. She says the flooding caused her work to close due to lack of safe travel routes. Water levels are at 25.3 feet now and are starting to go down slowly. No water level increases are expected. It is really hard. Um, a bunch of the traffic's been having to come through Commerce, so it's like a big traffic hold up, and it's like just to get within five minutes, you're like in a 30-minute traffic jam just trying to get from Commerce to Miami. The only way into Miami is through Commerce. There's also a detour near the turnpike people can take. You can find a map of road closures around Miami on fourstateshomepage.com. Miami. Okay. Miami. Not Miami. Um, here, this is in, uh, KNWA. I, I have to research these media outlets because they don't say the state. So this is Arkansas. Six days ago. Vernon Cooksey has lived in this Fort Smith home for more than 20 years. He says he had no intentions of leaving until he saw U-Hauls in his neighborhood and how quickly the water was rising. When they started to go beyond 2015 level, then we knew we were in trouble. Cooksey says he experienced minor damage during the flooding in 2015, but this time he thinks the water will get into his house if it gets as high as predicted. And flooding is not the only problem the city is facing right now. If you don't live in the neighborhoods or aren't volunteering in the neighborhoods, please try to stay out of them. Um, we're having a lot of issues with just side seers that are causing congestion on the roads. Now, Fort Smith police are warning people against driving around barriers. This is the corner of Rogers Avenue and Meandering Way, which, as you can see, is extremely flooded. Now, driving on roads like this is very unsafe and can even get your car swept away. Meanwhile, as Cooksey gets ready to leave his home, he says he's hoping for the best. I have probably 50 daylilies that are just ready to bloom, 
and uh, I'm going to have to talk to them and tell them they're going to have to make it through this flood. <laughs> so. In Fort Smith, in Kirikazuka, K and. Oh, God. All right. Um, this is in Missouri. Wait, wait, wait. The levees are tired. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Morgan Young. If you know someone who lives in West Alton, it's time to check in and make sure they're getting out. St. Charles County issued a voluntary evacuation order for that area. Our Justina Cornell is in West Alton where the latest river level predictions have people worried. And Justina, this area is already dealing with high water levels. That's right, Morgan. Just to give you an idea on how the flooding is already hitting West Alton hard, take a look behind me. Now, this may look like a lake, but do not be fooled. If you can take a look at the ground that we're standing on, it's actually a road, and it's clearly getting blocked off by all the flooding. And the only way to get through the other side is by boat or by a really large tractor that we saw earlier today. And with the latest predictions, officials just want to make sure that you're taking this flooding seriously. It's time to take action. It's time to get out of town. Okay, St. Charles, uh, that area. Um. Kansas, this is Hutchinson, Kansas. It's all right. Everything will be linked to below. So, um, in the day's other news, surging river. Now, that's interesting. Why do I have these videos that I don't? Hey, guys. Oh, okay. I want to pass along this video. I pet goat two. First major timeline has arrived. Oroville Dam concerns. Very, very interesting video, and he breaks down. I subscribe to him, Jeff Overholt. Um, he's breaking down the Gematria uh, with I Pet Goat and comes up with a date that, if anything's going to be happening with the Oroville Dam, it may be the 29th, three days from now. Watch this. Um, Boy, these, you know, this is not my area, but I listen to these guys and, you know, women who do the gematria, and I'm like, whoa, intense, very intense. And, yeah, well, uh, it comes up, he shows, it's coming up with a lot of 9-11 numbers. Uh his date, and I believe it was the 29th. I could be wrong about that. I'm tired. Um, so please take a look at that, you guys, and in Butte County and also the counties below the dam. So U.S. Army Corps of Engineers has issued an evacuation advisory for the Rocky Ford campground. Um, yes, they're releasing uh, waters, let's see, from the uh, Tuttle Creek. This is the Tuttle Creek State Park area. It's Tuttle Creek State Park below the dam. Um, and why can't I see the dam name? Well, Carol, you are obviously tired. It didn't say anything about a dam. It's talking about uh, this lake that is flooding. Uh, lakes, rivers, all over the place. Just, they are, well, yeah, historic levels. Because it's man, levee top streets begin to flood in Jefferson City. Missouri, um, my subscriber, Passionate for Christ, W, Miami, Oklahoma. This is where she is living, and she's here um, posting videos. And, 
you know, guys, remember, everybody is saying it came up so fast. It came up so fast. So if you are in a home that is low and there's a good chance that you're going to be flooded out, please, um, I'm sure you're already prepared for evacuation. Don't play around with this. Don't play around with this. They're doing something other than just the rain that is creating these floods. Um, but in uh, a comment that um, this subscriber left under my videos, she was saying that it takes now like an hour. She's got to drive um, all around, you know, just to get to a place that I can't remember the exact numbers, but she would say like t what used to take 10 minutes now takes an hour because of all of the road closures. And I really do fear this is going to come up so fast in so many areas. And if you're not overwhelmed now, wait, just wait. Traffic backed up for miles. Only one way in and out of Miami. And I will link below. Yeah, I have more videos that I have put in a, a bookmark file showing more areas flooded since the last time I posted a video, which was only a couple of hours ago which was only a couple of hours ago. So, in Miami, and I'm sure a lot of areas, people are having to turn around, figure out how to get to where they want to go. I mean, look at this. Jesus, I mean, I, I, no. Well, look, you guys, please um, leave comments underneath every video that you watch of mine. Just say, hi, still okay. All right? All right, I will. It's, I'm afraid it's going to come up really fast late or early morning when people will be sleeping, uh, not expecting it. And I will also link below to this latest video that um, Passionate for Christ left, uh, posted just a couple of hours ago. Um, my hammer. My God. All right, let me just quickly show you uh, what is happening on radar. All right, um, bring it, zoom it out. All right, here we go. They got it going. They got it going. Now look at these frequencies that are just shooting off. Now, we've got also a very weird weather uh, pattern going on uh, just, uh, just north of the Oregon border into Washington. And then it's disappearing. I'll show you in a second. But uh, can you see the frequencies going off here? All right. Can you see them from this distance? I'm trying to train your eye to notice. Ah, there they are. All right. Let's zoom in. Unbelievable. All right. Just look at this weather. Look at what's going on in Oregon, uh, Northern California. And, well, it's disappearing in Washington. And, well, is it going back out to the Pacific? I guess so. This is which way? All right, you're going north. Now you might be going a little west. Uh, this disappears. 
but it's heading back to the Pacific, but this is going uh, uh, south. Can you not see that something is drastically wrong with our jet stream? Okay. Um, look at this tail that develops right here. I am seeing a lot of frequencies around the Oroville area. That's enough for me to, um, and I've posted videos for months showing you the frequencies that were being set off, and I would say, very concerning, well, for California, um, considering that earthquake uh, state, you're the earthquake state, but also Oroville, the dam, and liquefaction how the extremely low frequencies can be liquefying the soil. Look at these extremely low frequencies right here shooting off. That developed. Um, and I did see earlier there were flash flood warnings for Ventura County, Santa Barbara. Um, it looks like they might be disappearing your storms down here in Southern California. But I really want to focus on, here we go, okay? So you see all of these frequencies are being, <laughs> I mean, they're not hiding anything, anything at all, nothing at all. You know, this looks, this reminded me of Pac-Man. You know, isn't that that game where you have this round thing that opens its mouth and eats up the Pac-Man or something? And I'm going to have to post it tomorrow, but I captured, I captured, you know, several videos today of what was happening and it was extraordinary because I, I mean I have never seen precipitation quite like it uh, the shape of it it was bizarre but this has been here now for several hours and it's not going um, well I'm sure they're gonna swing it into Missouri um, but you have been pounded with what looks like very heavy storms now, the frequencies going through this are unbelievable. But look at, just even on this site, look at the split right here in the precipitation. The extremely low frequencies going through it, it's amazing. Look at how level this storm becomes. Now, I also noticed, whoa, okay, they're bringing uh, perhaps the flooding to New York. Um, Pennsylvania, this line of storms that went over the Great Lakes into New York, Pennsylvania. How are you guys doing? Virginia, you have, and these little um, bizarre dots of precipitation that just erupt out of nowhere. Um, So, steady, extremely low frequency right here. I hope you guys up north are doing okay. Uh, New York, and you know, the uh, on the other side of Lake Ontario, we've got the flooding going on in Canada. But these are so obviously manipulated by man and generated down here in the north, uh, in, in the Texas area. But they've been holding this for a very long time, right over Oklahoma and Kansas. And I really hope that all of you stay safe. Um, yes, you can see all of the high frequency heating right here in this satellite image. And you will see the harp next ride rings going through this. And 
I will link below to the site. Um, it, it's like, okay, they're really firing up Doppler radar on this. On this storm, it looks like even more hits, pulses from these next route stations than I've seen. I mean, it's like they're intersecting all over the place. And yes, tornadoes, will they be popping up late at night, early morning to give you a surprise? Look at all of these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, okay. And all of the Doppler radar stations around it pulsing away with these frequencies, so uh, you're getting hit hard, guys. You are getting so unbelievably hit hard. Um, I'll take you to one more area a little bit further up north. Did I get it or no? No. Um, I hope you're noticing all of this, all of these very defined, perfect circular patterns in the precipitation. Okay, uh, that's your that's your mini harp station, bringing weather to you. It's going throughout the entire storm. I, I look at this. No, they're not hiding anything. They don't care anymore. You know, what we know, who we're, uh, you know, bringing the news to, they don't care. They don't care. Because they know. They know the condition of the American people. There ain't going to be any revolution. All right, I will link below. And, you know, it's really Illinois, Iowa, um, or Missouri and uh, Iowa. Where's the best place here? Even this little bitty storm. Well, they're gonna make it bigger. They're gonna. They will expand it. Um, but can you see all of the next red harp going through this? The high frequency. Look, if you heat up the atmosphere. You can control weather, and that's what they're doing. And this little storm will connect to this bigger storm, bringing you massive flooding. Missouri, Iowa, uh, Illinois. All right. I don't mean to leave anybody out, but I'm, I, I just needed to get this out. Um, it looks like the storms are, they're literally weakening them right here. You can see the yellow, then suddenly it just goes to um, a lighter precipitation. Can you see all of the extremely low frequencies, the pie-shaped cutouts, the uh, defined fanned out lines? Yeah, they're weakening the storms right here. All right, guys. Everything is linked to below. I sure do hope that everybody stays safe. And please, you guys, in those areas that you're getting so much flooding, could you just check in with us? Just leave a quick comment. I don't know, once a day, um, just to tell us that you're okay. Thanks.